One of the goals of this project is to bring academia into the public sphere um, in terms of having scholars and intellectuals and those that are doing research in the region present their research um, and, and their arguments in, a, in an accessible format in the public. Uh, do they want a, a, a state dominated by Islam with Sharia law or do they want a more of a kind of modern liberal democracy? We need to be treated as partners, not as suspects. Fear and hate speech won't make the problem any better. So when people first meet a person from the Middle East, they're first afraid because is this person going to be a terrorist? Is it, are, is it an Islamic fundamentalist? But to, to learn that they're actually human beings just like them. But when I get on a plane, I gotta tell you, if I see people who are in Muslim garb, and I think you know they're identifying themselves first and foremost as Muslims, I get worried, I get nervous. A recent poll found two in five Americans feel some prejudice towards Muslims. I'm a convert to Islam, so I've gone from being ordinary American that no one would notice to uh, someone who wears a headscarf. Uh, it's like being a stranger in a strange land. We believe that Muslim Americans are part of the solution. They are not the problem. They were there at the front lines, shoulder to shoulder with the men in Tahrir. Throughout history, Islam has demonstrated through words and deeds the possibilities of religious tolerance and racial equality. I think it's to uh, it's an uh, education uh, to give us a better understanding of what's going on in the Islamic world, to make us get closer uh, to the facts and the realities that are there. So we don't depend on uh, certain media outlets and certain persons to tell us, you know, what's going on.